Uh, the movie streaming giant Netflix has announced via a shareholder letter that it intends to expand its services into game streaming, uh, much in the vein of Stadia and xCloud. Uh, the initiative is set to roll out within the next year without any additional charges to customers. Although whether the change, wait, what the fuck did I write here? Although whether that changes in the, f oh no, I, I, I wrote that totally right. Never mind. Let's do that again. Uh, although whether that changes in the future remains to be seen. Um, I'm, I, I mean, my response, this is basically the same thing. Uh, I don't care about game streaming right now cause it's not quite there yet. I have pretty good internet. Some people have even better and they've been having an okay time, but just not for me. Yeah, I'm I'm I I am old school in the sense that like like I I have been converted on the Netflix sort of uh things where like movies and TV shows I don't really buy them on Blu-ray or physical copies or anything anymore and I'm okay with like subscribing to streaming services and streaming whatever i games i want to buy and own like i feel like there's i i don't want to do like the streaming type thing for them like like a subscription service like i get game pass is, is game pass i feel is sort of like a in-between state where like you're you're not streaming them but they're like you could you download them and play them on your own system um but yeah like i i don't know like I, it's and it's not even like i have to have physical games i'm okay with like digital or physical games i just i don't stadia was just like a big no for me i'm not really big on x cloud and i'm not i'm i'm interested to see what netflix brings to the table that you know we haven't seen yet that maybe they might mm -hmm. do something interesting with it, but I, like, I think it's cool that it's just, it's not going to be a price hike, even though, you know, once it's big and a formal thing, I fully expect like whether the, the base Netflix pay is going to go up or it's going to be like an add on or whatever that, that, that seems fair to me. But um, like one thing that kind of excites me about it in particular, even though I might not necessarily use it is that, um, Netflix, I mean, Netflix should be kind of hit and miss. Like, don't watch their their version of Death Note. Don't watch their version of Bleach. Those are bad live action anime adaptations. But they know they are more than willing to like fund projects. So if there's like exclusive stuff on here. I think Netflix has a decent enough track record for funding projects uh, with really good potential. Look, look at fucking Castlevania. It's fucking amazing. It's so and yeah. The Witcher it's series. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The Witcher fucking slaps too. Yeah. So I, I, I have I have a level of interest in seeing uh, what they do on that front at least. Yeah, I, I, I'm interested. To, yeah, like if they do their own gaming thing, that'll be really interesting to see. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just interested to see what sort of technology they bring to the market because like stadia you know was such a like a crash and burn sort of thing where they were like yeah we'll let the isp uh they, they'll figure everything out for like data caps and stuff like you know we're not going to worry about that and you know spending 50 gigs downloading every game you know just to play it once uh, anyway um, shit, well, you know, they even kind of flirted with the idea a while ago. It was like years ago with, uh, what was it? Black mirror, the Bandersnatch. And there you go. And like, obviously that, that's not like a live action thing. That's just like, Oh, make a choice within this window or whatever. But it, it was, it was an experimentation for sure. I mean, um, it was about as much gameplay as a quantum dream game. So. Yeah, and without all the shitty people working on it and all the shitty writing and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh Christ. We 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 need we need to have an episode dedicated to fucking talking about quantic dream games or something. Just just Please so we can no. let it all out. I don't have enough mental health strength for that. Yeah, I, I will it. I I will die for David Cage's sins. <laughs> I will discuss Indigo Prophecy and its weird alien cockroach creatures, but I refuse to discuss anything else. I have a lot of thoughts on Heavy Rain and will 
I, I could probably make like a three hour video essay on why heavy rain is a piece of shit. And yeah. I also but, want to just like stand on one of those hills with like fires behind me holding up a pike and it has David Cage's head. I, I, I will say one of the best things. I just want to be happen. like all covered in like tatters and like bloody, but just have David Cage's head. <laughs> we, on need, we, need like, we need that like Jesus a, like Christ. a heavy metal Holy album. Shit, dude. Like heavy metal album cover. Yes. That, you know, like just as drawing, like, Spray paint that on the side of a van, you know. Just me, old bloody, holding David Cage's head on a spike. Perfect. I, I don't know if I'm down for that. You, you, you go ahead. You go ahead. I won't go that far. I hate him. I hate him with the like fires of a thousand suns. Like I hate him. I hate David Cage. I, he has the most punchable face in existence. I, I, he's he's a piece of shit. That's for sure. Uh, one of my favorite things about um. What was the last game? Did Detroit Become Human? Is that it showed that a lot of people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> um, so, so for anyone that don't know, it's it's a very shallow fucking uh, allegory, whatever, for civil rights, uh, civil rights movement in America. And of course, David Cage and I is like, oh no, no, this has nothing to do with American history. This is a, this is about fucking cyborg uh, robots uh, fighting for their own rights, whatever. And then there's fucking uh libertarian like right-wing dipshits that are just like totally willing to just be like you know what racism doesn't exist in america it's 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 dead it's illegal to be racist therefore no one could possibly be racist like shit like that and then they'll play detroit you're just like wow this message is so powerful look at these people are like discriminated against this really hits home i'm just like you stupid (laughs) you fucking stupid motherfucker dude it's yeah it's bad. I, I I got a I got a very decent amount of cringe out of that. Cringe cringe is like one of those currencies where it's both awful, but it's also amazing. And yeah. I uh I think it was free on PS Plus one month, and so I have it downloaded on my PS4 because I wanted to like play through it once just so I could be mad about it (laughs) like and and like have like actual like you like context for why i'm mad instead of just being generally mad that it exists uh but i haven't got around to it yet and and like i can't make myself play it (laughs) i remember finding indigo prophecy as a kid and thinking it was the coolest damn thing ever and i finally was able to get a copy of it and i played it i remember like 14 year old me was like this game sucks (laughs) <laughs> i was like i was like this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen i got like three hours in and i just gave up i never played it again okay, okay you know what this is a dangerous proposition right here Uh oh. do i do i trust nintendo <laughs> to eventually in the future do some kind of re-release of the original luigi's mansion or do i buy it for 40 bucks on the 3ds wait but didn't they do a re-release of it no i thought the, the, the re-release on the 3ds Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of then. Is that yeah. the, that that was the re-release? Yeah. And they didn't put it on. It just it doesn't make it fucking Nintendo. Why don't they make sense? That's that's been the show, friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy this stuff right now, but I'm very tempted to do so. I'm almost. I'm, I'm gonna that's put up Ocarina. The show. Thank you for watching. Hold your 3ds <laughs> close tonight. I don't know. Where's your 3DS, sir? We have to hold the I don't have one up. anymore! Wait, you don't have one? No! I got Why? rid of my 3DS. I never played that damn thing. Yeah, Pokemon's on the it. Switch now. I don't need a DS. I don't think my microphone's gonna pick it up, but... I know. Maybe um, it is. There we go. Alright. Friends. There we go. Zelda. I don't have a DS, but I have a little Crispin. Anyway, yes, that's been the show. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you, Atma. Thank you, Sarah, for having some laughs, talking about fuck... We talked about... We had so many fucking segues, and we didn't even have freaking Sylvie on. Is that Toe Jam or Earl? It's Earl. Okay, I always always get confused. But, uh, man, we talked about a lot of weird shit. We talked about Terminator... We talked about we, we did zero. I want to rewatch Terminator Salvation. Why <laughs> Salvation? I don't know. I was yeah. compelled to rewatch T three at one point, so you know, you know. I'll tell you what. 
if people want to hop into the game session discord you can find the link <laughs> basically everywhere um we, we should have some terminator watch <laughs> parties I, I think one and two are on netflix right now so might have to do that sooner than later i'd be down for that but yep uh thanks everyone for hanging out uh yeah we will see you next time bye bye